What a gorgeous day. Cloudy and sunny, but not too cool. Look at the hummingbirds out the window. I don't know if they're gonna leave. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California. I think they're going to leave. The Orioles have showed up now. Let's see if we can take a peek at one that's coming in at this very moment. Eh, he's kind of hiding. He's camera shy, but he's back there. He's on the feeder in the back. Regardless, let me tell you what's going on. I'm looking out my window, so there is a screen here right now, or all the hummingbirds would come in the house. I can step outside in a minute and show you. I have heard that we're gonna have a super bloom. I know that seeds here have started to grow. These I'm growing and seeds are coming up that I didn't even know were gonna come up. And I've noticed that in the yard as well as some seeds I just simply sprinkled in here from a tomato and they're growing. So what is going on in the desert and all over is there is a super bloom starting like we had last year, which means a lot of our hummingbirds are gonna leave. Now, when you look out my window, you see that we have hillsides all around here. And though we should technically have our own super bloom, we don't because we're still in the city and the city demands weed abatement. That means no weeds. And weeds are native flowers, even introduced flowers are what feeds all our critters around here, all the wildlife, not just the hummingbirds, but the other birds and lizards and your pollinators, your bees, your bumblebees, honeybees, wasp, everything feeds off of that. And it creates the environment for food for everybody as well as nesting material. But when they make you take it down or make you get rid of it, that's what makes the birds and the animals leave or they don't have enough food. So yes, the hummingbirds would have more than enough food if all the hillsides were left they don't do that. We must in this area and surrounding areas clear land. That is the law. Now what frightens me and upsets me and there is nothing I can do is as we look across and see the hillside turning brown, that's not natural. We are just going into spring. We're not even in spring yet and the hillsides don't get brown until we're getting closer to summer. When you see hillsides going brown, there's a 99% chance that they have sprayed weed killer on there. And you know what that is. And the reason I don't like that is when it's first sprayed, if animals feed on it, or if they're there while they're spraying, most of those will perish. When animals feed too soon on it, there's different things that can happen to their bodies because they're bringing in toxins. It does break down and go into the ground, but it's still not a good thing. We all know about weed killer. We all know what companies do it. There's nothing we can do. The law states you have to clear the weeds and there's nothing outlawing weed killer. So when you start seeing all the hillsides being cleared, that is what's going on. They are now killing their weeds so they can go back and just simply rake them up instead of having to go through and cut them down with let's say a weed whacker or by hand or whatever way they want to do it. They can mulch even over it if it's not a hillside and it's a little flatter. They could put a leaf matter on top that's been dried or wood chips are still allowed. It does not create fires. It's the opposite. It improves the soil. But the cheapest and easiest way for a lot of people to do it, which we do not, is simply spraying the ground and many times they will do it multiple times during the year having somebody come in and rake it up and throw it out or worse yet it gets into the compost piles it gets into soils that people are trying to grow in and if it's got a growth inhibitor on it that doesn't break down for two years you will not be able to grow that's why sometimes if you buy soil cheap soil and you try to grow in it and all your plants turn yellow, they're not growing. A lot of times that was picked up by, let's say, our trash companies. They didn't know. It got composted. You get it and it hasn't broken down completely. So there's nothing I can do. I'm thinking the odds are a lot of the hummingbirds here in Southern California are going to leave. 
Now, I heard that San Diego's got a major super bloom just starting, which means all the deserts are going to be having it. And when they leave, they leave. Right now, I've been going through five and sometimes six gallons a day of hummingbird food, though it is a lot. It kind of brings a little tear to my eyes because I know that a lot of them will not survive. They're doing what nature wants them to do. They want them to go out, pollinate all these flowers. So the cycle of life continues. But unfortunately, if the flowers die back before they can get back to where they were going, they're very fragile. Some of them will not survive. And I know a lot of mine that were regulars because you kind of get to know them and their characters never came back. I had a few that did, but not all of them will. They will reproduce again, the ones that survive. And they, will, they have quite a few babies a year. One female can have two babies on up to eight babies a year because they can nest four times. But I did notice that the last super bloom last year there were very few nests around here compared to what's normally around here. I mean, they were nesting everywhere around the house and in the trees and everywhere you turn, there were nests. Last year, there were nests, but not like normal. So did they go forage out there and did they nest somewhere else and not come back? Or did they forage and pollinate and do what nature called them to do? And then when they tried to come back to what their home was, did they not make it back? Because as they go through the cities and go through the areas, if there has been a weed abatement, you think of the tens of thousands of hummingbirds that will be flying through may not all be able to find food. Because once a bird goes to a flower and takes the nectar out, it takes quite a while for that flower to rejuvenate, if it's even going to. If they remove the pollen, the flower's done. I mean, at that point, the pollen's gone. It's not going to make more pollen but a new flower will. So it's hard to say what happens to a lot of these birds. It's not my call. That's the way nature has set them up to work. It's just, you know, a little sad when they leave. So I don't know if they're gonna leave. Right now, we have tons of hummingbirds. I'm trying to keep them well supplied constantly to make sure the feeders have food in them so they know that, well, we have a good source of food here. Do we want to all leave? But some of them will have the call of nature, and no matter what I do, they will leave. Tell me what's going on in your area if you're feeding hummingbirds. Do you see more? Let's see what's happening in the next few weeks as all the flowers start to bloom and blossom and open up in the areas around California as our weather starts to warm and the seeds start to germinate. And of course, the flowers, the bushes, the plants grow really quick. Tell me if you see more hummingbirds. Do you see less hummingbirds? Do you see a difference in their behavior? Here, everybody's been happy. We've had thousands of hummingbirds feeding here daily. They feed well into the evening as it gets dark, and then they all go into the trees. I have multiple citrus trees around here because citrus has such a fragrance, very much like jasmine, and they love the nectar and the pollen out of the citrus trees. Will that keep a lot of them here? I don't know not my call. We'll see what happens in the next few weeks. I will definitely keep you informed on what happens and we'll see if they stay here. We did have some nests that were around here and then we got hit with storms. Some of the babies in the nests made it fine. There were others we're not sure about. We had some real severe weather here. Now I am hoping our severe weather is done. So we'll see as time goes on. Give me your thoughts, write your comments, because it's not just me that reads through them. A lot of others read through them too, and they may answer you too, saying, hey, I have the same situation, or I'm seeing more hummingbirds, or I'm seeing less, or they normally don't come in yet. I will let you know that the Orioles, all of them have returned now. We have multiple hoodeds, more males on the hoodeds than females. So I'm gonna say that the males have already come in on them, and the females should be following very shortly and there should be nests for them because they will stay here and nest. This is the environment they love to nest in. They go into banana plants, they go into palm trees, whatever they find that they can wrap the leaves around to make this nest that hangs like a basket. So they are here and I'm gonna say they're here to stay. We'll see what happens on the hummingbirds. So leave your thoughts and comments underneath and I'll let you know in the next week or so if I see more hummingbirds coming in or if I see less. So with that, have a wonderful day.
And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.